Hey guys, Knife Detector here, and check this out. I'm gonna do a quickie video on a knife that I bought maybe, what, six months ago? And I've just had this thing sitting in my toolbox forever. I just had so many videos and series of knife videos that I wanted to make ahead of this guy, and I've been dying to carry it, but I didn't wanna put any unnecessary scratches on it, so can you imagine the amount of willpower I had to exert not to use this knife? But anyway, this was available on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It might still be. I haven't checked. I didn't pay very much. It was so long ago. I don't remember what I paid, but I think I paid between $12 and $16 for this knife. It was very inexpensive. And this is the Rough Rider Moose. This is a moose, and you know what that means. It's got two blades, very similar to the muskrat, but larger than the muskrat. In fact, let's measure it right now since this is a quickie video and it's about four inches long. Four inches long uh, and that is in the closed position, four inches long. But look at these beautiful blades. The thing that attracted me about this knife was the handle. You know, I'm a sucker for yellow handles. It's a beautiful yellow plastic handle and it's got this shield. It's got this really cool shield, the old school Rough Rider shield and it's got the RR right there and it doesn't have the RR on the bolsters. I know some of you guys don't like that and this one has the horseshoe too but check out this big blade here. It has this big spade blade just like you would find in a trapper except I think this one might be a bit longer. How long is that blade you might ask? Well let's see. Just that spade blade by itself from the edge of the tang to the bolster it is three and a half inches. So that, that's actually pretty big for a blade. And uh, we're gonna close that. And we got a half stop and nice, nice uh, snap close. Check this out, nice. Look at that, look at that aggressive clip point blade with that faux edge there. And you give that a little wipe there for my fingerprints. And I'm gonna be carrying this guy tomorrow. Uh, right now I'm making this video. It's, it's actually uh, uh, Wednesday night probably 11 p.m., something like that. I'm going to be carrying this guy tomorrow on a Thursday. You're not going to see this video until, let's see, when am I going to post this? Probably going to post this on Saturday coming up, this coming Saturday, just so you can get a glimpse at that. And you know what? I'm also going to post a video on Sunday, and that's going to be on another inexpensive knife that I'm going to show you guys that I've been sitting on for quite a while, keeping it warm, if you know what I mean. And I just can't bear to not use it any longer, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that and just get it over with in a quickie video. But yeah, check it out. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty blade? Look at that shine on that. Ha, ha. Look at the shine on that blade with that long nail pull. Uh, it's just a real, real pretty knife. And I think this was like 12 bucks, something like that. Um, it's amazingly cheap. And uh, it's a very well-constructed, durable knife. Okay, how much does it weigh? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, my friends. Uh, let's find out. Uh, let me get the old trusty scale over here. Start that up. And this comes in at... 3.7 ounces. Come on, at 3.7 ounces, you could afford to have three or four of those in your pocket. Come on, guys. 3.7 ounces, that's nothing. All right, so this is a pretty decent knife right here. This is 440 razor sharp steel. This is a China knife, and in case you're interested, this is a Rough Rider 1198, is what that is. Rough Rider 1198. There's a close up of the horseshoe right there. This is a good looking knife. This is what it looks like closed. It starts off kind of wide at the top and then it narrows down. It's about the size of a trapper. So you might be able to fit these, this in most sheaths that uh, will fit a trapper. Me, I'm just gonna pocket carry this boy. Mañana, tomorrow, boys and girls. All right, my friends, this has been another quickie, quickie video. You know what that means? No bells and whistles of the knife detector. Y'all have a blessed week. And my friends, get out there, go knife hunting, and uh, let's see what we can find.